This video explains the basics of the MT512 Plus locator. This is not a tutorial on how to locate, but instead how to use this locator. You will become familiar with its indicators and buttons, and how to recognize ghost signals. This number is the absolute measure of how strongly the locator is picking up the signal from the camera header sound. The higher the number, the stronger the signal and the closer you are to the sound. The directional arrows indicate whether a stronger signal is to the left or right of you. Use these arrows in combination with the signal strength reading. The compass type arrows indicate correct alignment with the pipe, which is necessary to get the highest signal strength measurement. In sound mode when they point to 9 and 3 o'clock, you are properly aligned. For the depth reading, you are looking for the lowest number here, with the highest signal strength measurement, and all guidance arrows properly aligned. The gain level is essentially a volume reflection of the signal strength. The small inner circle shows what the gain level is, while the outer bar graph continually changes based on the signal strength received. This pane displays the frequency being used at the moment. There are two modes with this locator, sound or line mode. Switching modes changes the frequency to what was last used with the new mode. Use all the indicators to guide you toward the strongest signal. When you're very close to the sound, be aware of ghost signals, which give false meter spikes around the sound. They're generally a few feet on either side of the sound but can also be ahead and behind the sound. Those signals will have lower signal strength measurements than the true signal location. The directional arrows may not display or will be weak on the wrong side. The depth will be a high number. In the end, you are looking for the strongest, highest signal strength number, with the lowest depth reading, while properly aligned. 